I don't know exactly what's going on in here. It's been so cold that the miner's lettuce is doing well. There. So one of the things about this, I actually learned this from Elliot Coleman. Not necessarily this particular design, but in one of his books, he had gone to France and they do a zigzag rope, but they actually have a, a hoop that's made out of metal and they just bend it in a circle on one edge and then they flip them backwards and backwards and so they just run a zigzag rope and I mean this 60 mile an hour winds no problem as long as your plastic is intact mm -hmm. it doesn't matter normally what happens is it'll fly up and and yeah you can put rocks on the end and that does work but you get real strong winds and it wants to come under the side but if you keep just a little it's almost like an accordion um, accordion like a a roll top desk right so it's pretty easy to get into and and it's pretty simple um, see here. So this is what I do I take whatever if you've got rebar sometimes mm -hmm. I use uh, um, fiberglass poles and cut them short like you would you get in a fencing supply place and I'll take and I'll sort of clamp it on there. This is like fencing wire, mild fencing wire, not the high tensile fencing mm -hmm. wire. And I'll just wrap it around in a circle and I'll take another bar, rod or whatever, and put it there and wrap it around that and go again and snip it. And then all you have to do is just put that on your rebar and you just do it every other one. So oh, and that's where you have them tight off that right there. Right, now. yeah. So and That's you, just, cool. you just thread it through there. So this is that rope. This is the best. I was using some like some baling twine stuff and that sort of gets unraveled. This is plenty strong. You, you buy it in a roll and you have, I don't know, probably enough for your lifetime almost because it, it's not super expensive but you get a lot of length and it seems to be tough. I mean, I think it would almost support my weight. Yeah. So, and it seems to last pretty good through the, the sun and all that business. I kind of like this idea. Um, I, I have some of this plastic and plenty of PVC piping and stuff and rebar, but the only way that I've seen to do this before is to put a piece of wood, a board, all the way down the whole side attached to the plastic and you roll that up when you want to get in but you just came in and lifted this up and it stayed where it was supposed to be so yeah i kind of like that idea so you just tie the end like a tootsie roll what i do is i lay it on there and get it situated and then i'll bunch it i'll mm -hmm. take and bunch it so it's all the right length if you you know if you just tried to do this you want to create a little bit of pressure to sort of hold it on so at first I was just putting a big rock on it, but I found that putting a little stake here was handier. I could tighten it up. And if I want to undo it, I mean, I, I'm all I'm doing is, is just like you would tie down a boat, right. essentially. And you can, you can adjust, you can take it off to just sort of snug it up and go around. And, and actually I put these some of these on when it was pretty severe wind because I had had rocks and so it's something that you can do it's easy enough I think this is I don't know it could be a dock no it's not a dock um I don't think so I forget what it is. I think Don and planted it. But see, these are some lettuces. We got them started a little bit late. They did make it through the wind. Now, isn't it supposed to stay a little bit warmer in here? If you have the... Well, yeah, I mean, it does. If you have the sun. And really, what greenhouses are about is the wind chill. 
they just protect things from wind. So that's mostly what it is. And except in the valley here, it's usually cloudy, overcast. We don't get very many sunny days. Like uh, it was like 20 degrees out and we got a sunny day and in the greenhouse it's like 75 degrees you know boom just like that as soon as the sun comes up and Elliot Coleman where he is in Maine it's sunny every, pretty much every day and so he doesn't have to heat during the day yeah but mostly we do have to heat somewhat you know especially if it's kind of foggy and do you put any kind of heat traps in there black barrels or I, rocks or no there's well we'll show you a little bit no. later in there but there's really no I don't <laughs> it wouldn't really matter if you don't get hot in the day right you know it's just gonna take up extra space for extra plants yep. 